Yes, good morning, children. First of all, write down the schedule of your revision test. From 14th of uh, this Feb, your revision tests will start. So the days will be the same, whichever your schedule is already going on. On the revision test of English, your first test will be of uh, the very first book. What's the name of your first book? Beehive. Beehive. Beehive plus writing skills. Second revision test will be of the other book. What's the name of that? Moments. Moments. Moments plus grammar. And third revision test will be of the whole syllabus again. First revision test, Beehive plus writing skills. Second revision test, Moments plus... Hmm. Yeah. So first revision test, second and third revision test. So that is how you'll be, you know, revising your work also. From the book, we hive. Pick up the first chapter and second chapter. Today at home, you'll go through those chapters thoroughly. And tomorrow in the class, we'll be having a discussion on those two chapters. I won't speak anything. I won't have to tell you what is there in the chapters because you be, we have already devoted 80% of time on literature. You'll be revising the two chapters at home and we'll be discussing them in the class. So the online students also will be taken up and you people will also be there. Right, tomorrow online, uh, Oral discussion of the two chapters plus writing skills we'll be discussing. I'll just tell you how to write something, but you are to write. Okay, so be active to, from tomorrow rather from today itself. Okay, let us conclude the grammar. We have done enough of the grammar now. I guess we have done like all topics, but even then there are so many things in grammar which you need to still master because you people know the rules so far. But still, you people don't know how to put those rules into practice, how to make your English, how to make your language a little, you know, accurate. That's that thing is still missing. Okay, we have done narration a lot, voices we have done, subject verb concords we have done. But even then, when you people do the work, then there happen to be some mistakes. The reason is that you people don't read much. Okay, read a lot. The language you want to master. Listen that language a lot, reach that language a lot, speak that language a lot, make that language your, uh, your first language. Then only you'll be able to make, become proficient in that. Right? So for today, let's again do grammar. From tomorrow, we'll be doing these things. Okay, we'll be preparing for the first revision test side by side. Okay, but grammar will go on and on side by side. So now write down, write a, a dialogue. And you'll be narrating that in your own words. Okay, the dialogue is between uh, uh, father and child. Okay, father. So here is a dialogue between father and son. Right? Huh? Father. Buck up yourself now. for coming exams. Rahul. Now Rahul says, Mine. 
yes i am already doing my bit but don't know how to do even better Yes, here is a dialogue between father and Rahul, and you'll be narrating that in your own words. Uh, for the online students, I'm repeating. Father says, "Father, buck up yourself now for coming exams, Rahul." Rahul, yes, Papa, I am already doing my bit, but don't know how to do even better. Father, have you made a schedule? Rahul, not yet. Papa, will you please help me make one? So now write that in your own words. The first sentence will be father said to Rahul. From my side, I'm telling you, father said to Rahul. It's all in past tense. No, you. You're given only five minutes, two or three minutes for the answers. Right. Online students, is are the things clear? Father said to Rahul, "Pack up yourself for the coming exams." What is "pack up yourself"? It's an imperative sentence. It's imperative sentence. Imperative sentence. It is. And when we change the narration of an imperative sentence, what do we do? Father, father advised Rahul to pack up himself. we use to for the imperative sentence okay because there is no direct uh, subject so father advised rahul to buck up himself uh, whenever whatever then you do it right fast gurpal come on unless you write you won't come to know what is the answer start writing the answer your brain will start working by default then and the and the places where you will do the mistakes there you will learn learning comes when there are mistakes
wherever you find any difficulty, <clears throat> you try to solve it on your own, or you can ask me then. Yes, are the children here online? Are you people writing the answers? If you have written, then please tell me what you've written. Gurleen Kaur, why are you absent? Why are you not there in the class today? Yesterday she was there, Anna? Once you start coming, then be regular. Okay, done. Yes, who is that girl? No, that girl, Jan. Kirti Ma, yes, give the answer. Yes, first sentence. Okay, father advised Rahul to buck up himself. Then, now changes to then. To buck up himself then for coming exam. Okay, Rahul will come here. Rahul, father advised Rahul. What are spellings of advised? A D V I S E D. What's the difference between A D V I S E D and A D V I C E? Yes. Yes, this is a verb. So wherever you need to use the word as verb, you'll be using S. Otherwise, as noun, it will be advice. Don't give me advice because I know everything. Okay, then Rahul. Kirti Masadam, that girl. So, what will you say for yes, Papa? This yes, Papa is one sentence. Rahul. <laughs> Not manner. Rahul replied replied in. Yeah, Rahul replied in affirmative. Okay, Rahul replied in affirmative and told his father. Okay, reply Rahul replied in affirmative. For only the word yes, Papa, we are to say Rahul replied in affirmative or Rahul replied his father in affirmative. In affirmation also would be correct. So Rahul replied his father in affirmation and told him that hmm. Okay, wait. Let us finish up only. I am uh, already doing my bit. This is one part and told him that he was doing, that he was already doing his bit. That he was already doing his bit. But don't know how to do even better. So this is no next sentence. Okay, and also told him and further told him and further explained that he did not know how to do even better. So do not will change into did not. And did not know how to do even better. Any doubt here? Anyone who did any some other mistake and you want to clarify, uh, you want clarification, you know, why not this? Didn't, did plus first form. Okay, we use first form with did also and do also and does also. Good, ask like this. Any other mistake you committed? Ask the clarification. Anyone who has written two did? Come on. No one did this mistake. Two did. 
Why not two dead? Hmm? Because two is always followed by first form of verb. We call it infinitive two plus first form of verb. Hmm? And further explained that he did not know. Got it? And further explained that he did not know how to do even better. Two plus first form of verb always. Do you understand how to do even better? Got it? Okay, now next part. My father, to Rahul, have you made a schedule? Yes, Laksh. You tell me what will you write? Is it reply? Have you made a the Rahul? Okay, okay. After two years, when you are giving some answer, so it will require some time. Never mind, which speak up. Luxious father, then yes. Yes, yes, come on. Yes. So now are you make okay? Let us first say father asked Rahul. Father asked him or father asked Rahul. Now there is a question. Have you made a schedule? Yes. You tell me. Yes, very good. What's your name? Huh? Anandita. Okay. Sit down. Now listen, all of you. Never mind. But one thing is here those who did not know that if is to be used here or whether is to be used here, they need to tell themselves, like, I'm going to learn it now. So here is a statement with a question. Have you? whatever. So it's a question starting with a verb and a question with the yes, no type. Got it? So when we get a question with the yes, no type, we use if. We use if not oh no, not we use if not that. That nahi use kar. Father asked Rahul if pehle itna yaad karo. Father asked Rahul if. Now after if, we'll be taking the subject. If he. Now after the subject, we'll take the verb. If he had. Had plus third form, made. If he had made a schedule and a full stop in the end. Okay, because we are going to change the question into a statement. So we'll be turning the interrogative part into positive statement. Positive or negative, whatever. Point is that it is not going to be a question mark again. So first the subject, then verb. Here it was have you, but here it has become he had. Had plus third form. Okay. So father asked Rahul if he had made a schedule. Full stop. If he had. I'm not saying, I am not saying father asked Rahul that if he had, that will not come. Remember, I'll give you one more example like this, then I'll see how many of you got it. So father asked Rahul if he had made a schedule. No, Rahul, not yet. Not yet, Papa. Papa was not yet. Okay. Write the answer. Yes. Rahul? Not yet. When it was yes, Papa. Similar, it is not yet. Rahul replied in 
negation affirmation was yes jab nahi bola to negation ye kya keh raha affirmation for false yes and negation for no okay so rahul replied his father in pure affirmation एफरमेशन इज फॉर फॉर यस यहां नो बोला उसने नॉट येट यस नहीं बोला उसने यस पापा नहीं कह रहा वो वो कह रहा नॉट येट सो राहुल रिप्लाइड इन नेगेटिव और राहुल रिप्लाइड इन निगेशन एंड फर्दर टोल्ड हिम दैट सॉरी एंड फर्दर आस्ट हिम बिकॉज इट्स अ क्वेश्चन नाउ पापा विल यू प्लीज टेल मी क्या will you please help me make one so that that's again a question starting with a verb no. would is okay for will but there are to be some other changes if it will again start with if rahul asked his father if aage batao yes if he would yes if he would help his father sorry if he would help him make one if he would help him make one anyone who says ki ma'am here instead of make it should be made come on here help him make one it's like let me make one let me do it similarly it is help me make one so rahul asked his father if he would help him make one what is one here schedule okay one is a pronoun okay okay yeah that is also answered or replied is one or the same thing Okay, now write next sentence, all of you. I said to my brother. I said to my brother. Will you please? Will you please give me your pen? I said to my brother. Will you please give me your pen? Yes. will you please give me your pen my brother said to me will you please give me your pen wait wait i said to my brother will you please give me your pen my brother said to me where is your pen where is your pen then i said to my brother why can't you help me i said to my brother why can't you help me when i am in need why can't you help me when i am in need why can't you help me when i am in need Okay, now write your answers.
You have not written the answers. Two statements are there. Where's the third one? Speaker. Speak the third one. Where's the third one? Okay, uh, Janvi, first statement. Jia is not there. Who only came? Okay. Repeat, please. I asked my brother if he was really Okay, instead of please, we can uh, bring it here also. We can request also. I requested my brother if he would give me his pen. Well done. So I requested my brother. Gurpal, why requested? Ah, because please is there, so we can convert that expression here. So I requested my brother if he would give me his pen. A full stop in the end or a full uh, question mark? Full stop. Ritika, yes. Got it? Repeat the answer of the statement one. Hmm. Yes. Okay. Now next statement. My brother said to me, where is your pen? My brother asked me. Hmm. What kind of question is it now? What kind of question is it with the WH kinds? When we get a question with the WH kinds, we don't use if, we don't use that. We don't use whether. Because this word itself is an assumption. Okay. Ritika, yes. Now give answer. Yes, very good. Silent clap for her. Okay, so my brother, my brother asked me where my pen was. Very good. Sit down. So did you think about this very answer or not? Okay, third question. I said, why can't you help me when I am in need? Anshya. Yes, correct. I then asked him. Okay. Even if said to my brother is not there, we know like this conversation is going on. Even then we can say I asked him. Then I asked him. Okay, because that is but natural. Then I asked him why he could not or could. I asked him why he could not help me when I was in need. Full stop. Got it? Okay, now write down. Now do a correction. Edit the passage. I'll be giving you a small paragraph. You people do the correction. There will be some mistakes. Okay, write on. Have you ever now edit the exercise? Have you ever been, have you ever been to my school, which I study? Yes. Yes, Laksh, what happened? What will be the correction? Manevi. 
Yes, correct answer. So this is wrong. It should be been. With have, we don't use being. We use third form. No? Have you ever been to my school? Where I study. No, given part, we don't have to add. Then where is correct? 